Welcome back Doom fans to more relearning Doom map editing with the GZ Doom and editor. The link to said program is in the description below. In the last video we started a couple of map files, saved them and we tested the basic tools to create a crazy set of rooms. We shall take another look at them today to show off the visual mode as well as doing some simple editing in, in that mode. At the end, we will set up the functionality to test the map we made in the game itself running GZ Doom, which will also have a link in the description. So with no further ado, let's get started, shall we? Alright, so before we get started with the visual mode, I'm just going to show you a few tips <coughs> with... Um, within the editor. Well, let's say, for instance, you can press space and move your mouse to move around on your um, map screen. If you should get far away and don't know where it is, you can press the home key on your keyboard to recenter on your map. Um, you can undo and redo actions such as if I accidentally delete that line, I can go up here and do undo it. I can also press the Control Z button to prefer to um, undo the latest of the uh, errors or whatever I did. On the sidebar you also have on the top tab there uh, a list of your uh, late latest actions there. The lowest tab you have a help feature, at least a list of the some of the things I have actually uh, shown you guys in the previous video. You can make it permanent by right clicking on the arrow, but you get um, a less real estate for the map itself. So I usually have it locked away. Control C to um regret my deleting action and let's get started on the visual mode we have our player character here we have our crazy map when i tested all the um, tools we have at our disposal in the left toolbar but we can't really see much of things here. We can edit plenty of stuff here in this mode right here, but we will get to that later. For now, press the W key to enter visual mode. This is how our map will look in game, well, mostly. You can traverse the space with the E, S, D and F key. Instead of the W, A, S and D. Yeah, I because W was the key to go in and out of visual mode. Uh, you can see all the sectors here as well as the player. We can hide things by pressing the T button. For right now we only have one thing so it doesn't really matter. Here we have the standard uh, floor texture, a wall texture, all and the ceiling texture all inside their own um, inside their own um, 
area sector. Um, you'll notice that texture looks very, very. Um, there are so many wall sectors here that uh, it looks a bit strange. If you press the A key, hovering over this, um, so I just this, this side, then it will all follow the lines, and uh, you can manually do this with um, left and right keys. But if you have Lots of these, it's simpler just to push the A key to uh, line them up. There are some instances where you would do this manually because, because <laughs> I can show you that later if I remember. But now it looks, it will follow as long as it doesn't cross. Uh, it's um, dead end, like a right corner, I think. Anyway, uh, each sector is its own entity, even if it looks uh, pretty uh, whole. Uh, when you look at it, so for instance, I can with um, the mouse wheel, if I roll up, I can uh, raise or lower the ceiling, no, uh, floor in this case. I can do the same with the ceiling. Um, you can right click an area, then you don't have to look point at it to uh, lower or um, uh, raise it. Press C to press C to um, unselect the thing you have selected. You can select as far as I know all you all you want. So I guess I lift this and lower that to the same level as that one. But then we have some textures uh, or areas that does not have textures. What should we do about that? Well, we can right click on a wall, a ceiling, on a floor. Let's take this wall. Uh, let's ignore this for now. Go to the front tab, which is the one we can see the moment we no, it's the back actually, which is irrelevant because this is the one only one we are seeing missing a texture that we can see. This is the top. There will be a bottom, the wall that is normal here will be in the middle here. But this is the one that's relevant because we moved the ceiling of this sector down. So we will have to do something about this texture. Um, we have available textures here. Uh, this is set to base at the moment. There are filters to see what they are. Um, there are base sectors. You have uh, bricks, liquids. You can also press on um, all textures to see all. But I like filter filtered, and let's keep it to base. Now, if you have Uh, used textures at the top you will see all the textures that are currently used in the map 
so it's fairly easy for us to find the right one otherwise we would have to look around here and uh, try to visualize the one you are uh, using but since we know that the start tan 2 is the wall texture let's let's keep it at that for now press ok you will see the start tan here notice that it has 128 by 128 remember that for later uh, press ok and we have uh, the first texture placed of course if I have to do this here 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 that would be um, that would be an undertaking but once again we can select all the areas we want to edit right click find on the tab the back side which is relevant to us select the start and two press ok this will probably not be checked when you do this the first time but I would recommend keeping that checked always so you know unless you have a million different textures then it won't help you much um, this I think it doesn't have long names so it doesn't matter this is the old uh, when you only had had uh, eight textures <laughs> eight um, letters to uh, spell a name uh, but if you have uh, new textures people have made you, you imported you might want to check that it doesn't hurt to have it checked either way I guess yeah we have the star tan too okay and uh, you can choose any texture by the way, but let's keep it to the one actually relevant For some reason it didn't Are those Huh There we go I'm not sure why those weren't selected. Yeah, um... There is one... Oh, I didn't see that. <laughs> this has something to do with, um... Yeah, it's a very, very, very small thing here. Actually, let's go into uh, vertices mode and uh, delete that one. That should make our life much easier. Uh, once again, this is a bit badly lined up. But if we... Uh, It goes all the way around, actually. Uh, well, at least we get... It will look slightly better. Yeah, it hits the wall here. Uh, that's what... That is why... Because the texture has a certain, certain size. And um, some of the walls are not the exact length of um, of said um, uh, let's see insert yeah this is the exact length actually but this one is longer so it uh, has 128 and then it repeats halfway or something to um, 
to uh, make um, so it won't fit exactly. So keep that in mind when you are um, making a level to uh, fit the line lengths to a certain number times the length and uh, height of the texture. Unless some of the textures, it doesn't matter. And you can uh, modify the textures so that you can make them um, you can scale them up or down or left or right but not all textures will um, look very nice when you do that so keep that in mind oh yeah well we have uh, we can raise floors and ceilings like you do. You can edit textures, uh, make them look really, really, really weird by stretching them, for instance. That doesn't look very nice, so let's... We can do all that in this. You can see here it's the middle because this is the, a normal wall, if you want to call it that. We don't have a backside. Uh, and uh, we will look to properties of this when that becomes relevant. This, this is the first tab I know, but for right now, let's ignore that. I cancelled, so uh, the wall return to normal as it were I think the height of this sector is uh, no 72 so it won't you won't see the entire wall here here you will see it because this is 128 so that's the first the whole uh, height of the current texture uh, this looks very weird, doesn't it? In the next video we will make uh, what you can consider a real map, but for now let's take a look at um, how we can actually look uh, or play our game to test it. You have a um, test map function in here. I have set it up to use uh, ZDoom, or GZDoom. Um, you have to download th that from the from the web, web page uh, with the link I have in the, des the description. Uh, but it will, of course, not be set up for you the first time. So let's get into that, shall we? All right. To set up your um, test map uh, game for the first time, you will go to Tools, Game Config, and choose the Testing tab. Make sure it is for the version you are using, in this case the UDMF GZ Doom, Doom 2 UDMF format, uh, assuming you are using it. Um, you can select more versions here, but we won't get into that. Uh, you will need an engine. I am using the GZ Doom. You will probably need to find the folder it is in wherever you installed it. Select the exe file, open, and you will have it here. Uh, where the application is located, you are, you will find it. Uh, yeah, you have to find it there first, and then make sure this is the one. Uh, which skill level you want to play as uh, for uh, 
preferences you can change it you can have custom parameters but we won't get into that at all then you just need to play that if you press that press f9 or similar you will just run into the um, into the map if you hit the um, little arrow you can change the um, difficulty uh, for the map and also which of these you want to start I seem to have started this twice actually it doesn't really matter if we press it we will enter the map I have a higher texture uh, that you will have to find yourself I won't get into that I also I'm also using the um, um doom mod called um brutal doom apart from that this is uh you would have the probably have the old textures that looks worse and probably the normal uh, gun for the doom guy but uh, otherwise this is not necessary. This is just how I have set it up. So, uh, that is how that works. You can just exit. That ha That is how our excellent map looks <laughs> in, in, in the game itself. If you find a good texture, you can use that. Otherwise, it would look uh, like a normal Doom map uh, with uh, standard textures and uh, wandering around with a gun. Um, just, just to show you, let's look at that again. Looking up and down was not standard in doom um, but GZ doom not the editor but um, front loader or what you want to call it uh, has some additional features to make it look more like a modern first-person shooter so we can look up and down mouse look up and down and um, rebinds all the keys to modern settings and so on you can change all that in the um, options in here we can also have higher uh, higher um, uh, yeah you know We'll, we will not get into uh, GZ Doom in uh, great details. We are in the map editing business, but, so you have to look into that yourself. Uh, but I guess that's it for me in this video. Uh, we could um, just shortly go, go into lines here uh, you have all these uh, lines showing you sectors but uh, they're not blocking you these lines you will see are the, they are sort of grayish while those are totally white these are define the edges of your map these are just sector indicators you can delete them we will also delete the sector but if you remember them sector um, tool from the last video 
you can very easily get the sector back. If you did changes, it might look a bit different, but for right now we haven't done anything. So yeah, this was your host, the Lazy Gamer, logging off. Bye guys. <laughs>